Fair question. What's it like being a codependent? What does that even mean? My whole life, I have read people very quickly. And I always saw their damage. I always saw their injury. And to me, it felt like if, if I could just help them that somehow it would be returned. If I could just show them the love and the nurturing and the understanding that I needed so badly, that somehow it would be returned. And I always picked wounded people to be my friends because I was wounded. I wasn't good enough to be around healthy people. I'd bring them down. Don't you know I was toxic? But I knew what the wounded people needed. It's very seldom returned. And what winds up happening, like especially me, and I, I understand a lot of my my kids upset with me, you know. Um, when people aren't willing to work on themselves, and you're the only one doing the work, it's very draining. It's not just draining to you, but it can it can drain your family. Your energy is important. You know, all that effort I was putting into all those people that are no longer in my life should have been going to my family. It should have been going to me, all that love. It should have been going to me. It should have been going to my girls. The men that I've had in my life They didn't marry me because they liked me or loved me. They thought they could change me. That's the truth. I was never good enough in the first place. No one ever got down on their knee for me. But I was okay with that. Don't you know? I was such a mess. I was so grateful to even have anybody want me. What's it like to be a codependent? I've been sitting in here for six years now. I'm still alone and I'm still begging for love and attention. It's almost worse than being an addict because you're surrounded by the behavior and you're participating and the damage is just as bad only um, you've allowed it. You're not loaded. You've allowed all this to go on in your life. Being a codependent is one of the loneliest existences there are. I've never felt complete. I've never felt good enough. I was terrified of my children. I just knew I was going to screw them up. I was terrified of life. I never had the confidence. But man, people would sure come to me for help and advice. I, I never understood that. My life was a mess. Being a codependent. You can read everyone really well. But sadly, you pick the ones that are probably going to be the most trouble. (laughs) 
That's one thing I have learned in life. You can't fix anyone. You can only really show them the way. People suck you dry if you let them. I hope that that helps. That explanation helps. No, it didn't mean I had a problem with taking drugs. I had a problem with being around them, being around people, that whole culture. That's all I knew. That's all I felt like I was good enough for. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I have used my drugs and I have drank my drinks, but... Uh, Again, I've been sober more than I've ever been loaded. Way more than I've ever been loaded. But you wouldn't know it by what was going on in my life. Love you. There are great meetings out there for people who struggle with these things. <laughs> YouTube's got some good stuff too. That's what's going on with me. I truly can't even hate anybody. I swear there's, it's an awful feeling. People can shit all over me and I will still love them. Talk to you later.